Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with the Pungos in our franchise mode series. Oh my god, how could we missed out on this cute derpy face oh my goodness you are still my most favorite derpy face <laughs> you're just so adorable <laughs> i just uh, i love the bongos so much in this game they are so freaking funny absolutely the cutest so I have something to say. Thank you all for the support on the last episode. I know I was feeling a little bit unwell, so I had to... Uh, the whole episode is a little bit messy, but hopefully you guys can forgive me. I did a lot of stuff. Ooh, show, let me show you. I did a lot of stuff off camera just to catch up a little bit. A look at that, guys. We have a complete... Well, not completely new, but I did make some changes, actually. So we have this really cool facility building by Anika Nele. And um, I think it's just she, she is she, Anika, Anika. And uh, she made this awesome blueprint. You can find this one also in the collection down below. If you want to provide me with blueprints, definitely join my Discord server, of course. And uh, this is just really, really awesome. So we have an information stand in here and drinks. We could potentially just replace this one with another information stand or something like that in a later stage. So the staff can just walk through here and then they have this super cool facility building which can be expanded a little bit more with some more rooms. See, she actually just left some space open for that. So, okay, you are walking really weird. We're just gonna pretend we don't see that. Oh my goodness. So we have this awesome uh, upper area right over here. There is a staff building right over here. I do remember that I have to create a new work roster probably. So we have a staff building right over here, but we can potentially add a bigger one, for example, right over here. We can, we can really play around with this. So this is absolutely awesome and I think it really fits the style. You have like planters and stuff on top of it. I really love it. So maybe if you can remember, we actually had this restaurant building. It's really busy over here, by the way. We had this restaurant building a little bit more to the right. So I replaced it. Other than I really thought that we should keep some space more for... Um, to make sure that it's not super busy, I actually still felt that this would uh, look better like so. So people coming in here, they can go to the right if they uh, want to go for the drinks, any information stand right over here. And they can look at the restaurant on this side, but they obviously have to walk around to a separate path here. So it's not like only at one path connected. So we have another path going here to this side. Uh, which totally makes sense. I think we need to delete that bench. It's a little bit in the middle of the path. Obviously, it's not finished yet, but I think this layout is just super cool. Uh, Anika also made these um, shade things. I'm not really sure how to call them, but like for our guests to get some shade. So I add those on the sides of the habitats and I think it looks just absolutely stunning for this area. So the plan is to have like uh, a little bit of the same style right over here. I think we're going to add one or two habitats on this side too. And then we're going to an African region right over here and probably an Asian region on the other side or something like that. So we're going to divide it. We're not going to work on like one area per se, finish that off and then go to the next one. No, we're just going to gonna see how we... Uh, yeah, expand our zoo, I guess. So we also have a toilet building right over here, which is made by Frog Princess. So thank you so much for providing this one. It's super cute. It comes along with this planter here. And I thought it would just be nice to have another toilet building on this side. We have one toilet building right over there in the restaurant. So I think it totally makes sense to have this little small building right over here for our guests 
Uh, people are super hot. I'm not really sure if this is the way to help them with providing them with some uh, cooler areas. Uh, I, I don't dare to say that. I think as far as I know, it's mostly just the coolers, but I'm not really sure if I want to like put down a lot of coolers all the way underneath all the paths. I'm not really... I, I I don't really see that happening. I think you guys are stuck. Let me just help you. <laughs> um. So is there anything else? Yes, we have a wooden bridge. As I asked, uh, I got a few really cool bridges. You can find them all in the collection. This one is made by Bobson. I really like this style of it, but there are like, I had really, really cool bridges. Let me just quickly show you guys. So you can all find them. So this is a six meter wide one. I really love this one, but since this is an eight meter one, I can't use that one right now. This is also a six meter uh, bridge, which is absolutely awesome. And then we have another desert bridge with like this shade thing on top of it and like planters around it. They're absolutely awesome. So I really hope we can use all of them uh, along the way of our zoo. So we're gonna have some kind of water... I'm gonna pause it because I hear some protesters, I think. Um, so along the way, we're gonna have like a water section right over here. And what I'm actually thinking, if that makes sense, so I don't want to fill this just up with water, but I actually want to make some kind of cliff idea. And then in the middle, like a very small stream with water. And obviously we're also going to have some real rivers and stuff, but I, I do really like that idea. Um, so I think if it makes sense, I think uh, that is something we should go for. The only uh, downside of this bridge is that you can see the path sticking through or the gas will just walk a little bit through. Uh, the panels, but I think in the end it's it's all good. It looks just really really awesome So thank you all so much for these blueprints. Obviously, we're going to use tons more definitely keep them coming and uh, But yeah, we have baby bungos. I think it's a good thing to just Check if every animal is doing well Bongos having a low welfare, they're very stressed, so I feel that the crickets probably... Uh, the cricket speakers are probably not working. Um, how can we fix that? The, oh, what I was doing, I accidentally just removed this whole wall of rocks at some point. I tried to like uh, undo things, but it didn't came back, so I had to do, the, do it all over again. So it looks a little bit different probably. Um, okay, so the bongos are feeling stressed, which is actually a pity. I really love these things. They are so cool. We have some some others too, uh, some really cool ones from Kane, and uh, I really would love to use those like in the middle of the path. You can all find them in, um, in that collection list, definitely. If you're going to build a desert to like this, I think you're you're definitely gonna love all the blueprints. Um, so, ah, bongos are stressed. How are we able to fix that in another way? Because those cricket speakers are not doing their jobs. The signs here are also not really doing their job, which is really a pity. Do not disturb signs. We have them. Um... We have them right over here, underneath the ground, and it's really a pity that it's just not working. Huh. Do I have to maybe try and put down more? Or maybe we just need to... Well, it doesn't matter. Like, they have this, this round radius, so you can tell, like, from the trees that it also goes up, so it shouldn't matter. But maybe I just feel like we should, um should just try and just put one or two above the ground. Maybe just on the outsides of these shade things. So we're gonna put one here and one over here and just hope that our guests are nice enough to be kind for our bungos. I already gave them contraceptives just to be sure that we don't get like a baby boom and it's getting too busy in their habitat. Uh, let's have a look at you guys. I think you're doing fine. Our lovely Nialas. 
I did redo a little bit of the cave here just to uh, make it look a little bit better. It's very simple still and um, we're gonna get back to that in a later stage. And our camels um, are doing pretty well actually. There's nothing really wrong, only their last meal quality. One thing we have to pay attention to is um, we need to make sure that everything is clean because I know that there is a lot of trash right over here and these radius are fine with the guests so that works perfectly fine i think only over here i think we just need to hire another janitor for uh, to to clean that up a, a janitor a caretaker it was called a janitor in planet coaster <laughs> uh we do have everything else right we have a veterinarian now, well, we have tons of vendors, no work zone, no work zone. So we need to set up some work zones and let's have a look. Do we need more security? I don't think we need one at this point. Uh, the mechanic has a very high workload. So I actually feel like maybe we should get another mechanic. And I'm going to quickly do the work zones because I think that is very smart to do. So we have a camel and bongo habitat, but we have another keeper hut right over here. So we're going to have, we're gonna create a new work zone and we're gonna add those two in and then we're going to add the staff room in. So this is going to be the Niala work zone. And I also want to rename this habitat to Niala habitat. like so and now we only need to make sure that one keeper is in this work roster and we're going to grab one of the keepers oh well that's you then niala work zone and we have two for the camel and the bongo habitat they have enough space for the staff room to to chill and relax for a bit do we need to give it a little bonus i think that would be nice a perk so gain happiness faster. Um, staff will be more re resilient against being overworked, learning resources. I think we should just go for staff health care. Okay, that is set. And now we do have three shops in here and we have one, two. So we have five vendors already all working in this area but we also have other people that need to use this staff room so I actually feel that we just need to add another staff room right away in this section I think we should do that and we're going to grab a staff room shall we just add one here and maybe in a later stage a bigger one is that an idea or shall we right away grab a big one is that even fitting I don't think so. No, it's not fitting because of you, but we can move you to this side. So we just have to move you to that side too, like that. And now we can close that off right over here. And we're just gonna close it off on that side. And I think we're just going to close that too so we're just gonna close it off with a wall and now we're going to have one big staff room right over here why are you obstructed is there probably we can we can maybe squeeze it in yes okay it's just not really aligning with the path but that's fine we can just make sure that this is all going to fit I think it's all good on those sides. We don't really need windows. It's not sticking through here. So is it rotated? It looks a little bit out of an angle, to be honest. I'm just gonna put it down like this and then we're gonna have one doorway and one... Oh, we can... Do we have a window yes we have so we're just gonna grab this one and then close this off and then is that connected not really so we're gonna split selection from group and we're just gonna close it off right over here and ooh, don't like don't like 
Okay, we don't see that little thing. Okay, we're just gonna keep it like this. So we have a big staff room right now. So what I wanna do is I wanna make a new work roster. And we're gonna make a work zone with what is smart to do. I think we should just grab all these three shops. There are three shops here. And we're gonna have two more here. And shall we... Yeah, we're just gonna combine that one with the big staff room. So this is going to be the vendor's roster. So we're gonna select all the vendors later and have them in that work roster. And I think the others, uh, because they don't have to stay super close, but it's good to assign them something at least. So I think, I think I'm gonna make one work roster for everything. So is that smart to do? I think we should do that. So everything, so we're gonna add other buildings and habitats into this habitat, into this work roster later. And I think I actually am going to keep it like so. So what I'm just quickly gonna do off camera is just select all these uh, vendors and give them the right, um, right work roster. What I'm actually am wondering, we have so many vendors, but we don't need that many vendors, do we? We only have five, five shops. One, two, three, four, five. We definitely don't need that many. So I'm definitely going to fire a few because this is really, really too much. So I think I'm going to keep seven and we have uh, one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay oh yeah okay twelve we have twelve vendors so i'm going to fire five of them one two three four five and the rest i'm going to give the vendors roster so when one is going on a break, the other one can take over and hopefully two extra vendors will be enough, but only time will tell. I'm gonna give you a work roster with everything. I'm gonna give you the everything work roster and you getting the everything one, everything. Oh, the keepers keep their own work rosters and the caretakers gonna get everything. There you go. Okay, perfect. So that has been set up right. So now what we're going to do, I already have two new animals. And the reason for that, I have the American Bison and the Pronghorn Antelope. Those are actually, if I'm correct, the two North America animals that can stand heat until 40 degrees. So, if I'm right, hopefully I am, but like arctic wolf or dull sheep or like more colder climate. And obviously we have exhibit animals from North America, which will go into the exhibit, so that's going to be fine. But maybe only a grizzly bear that can handle 28 degrees, but I'm not really sure if you want to add the grizzly bear in this franchise mode series so i i will i'm, I'm gonna ask it to you guys do do you guys think that we should add the grizzly bear or shall we just go from these two north america animals uh like the pronghorn antelope and the american bison they can also be in one habitat together so that's going to be fun actually but i think other than this we should just add like south america animals and asian and african animals that can stand a, a warm climate so i think that is the best thing to do but let me know if you have any other ideas or suggestions of course so i am going to prepare a little bit of their habitat and i will be right back with you guys now i wouldn't be the lady if i wouldn't go crazy again and i lost like i think 20 or 30k on money uh, i just wanted to play some rocks <laughs> i got this really cool um desert rock arch by arceo and uh so yeah this one is also in the collection which is really cool and this is the shelter of bobson since we are a little bit like we're just on the other side of the path, obviously, but I thought like, okay, we can maybe get away with this one, but I have no idea if this would be enough. 
And we also have this really cool desert stuff room by Anika. So uh, yeah, we have quite a bit from Anika, but yeah, I just can't see the names. I, I looked up the names now in the collection. I can't see all the names in the blueprints. And if I like it, I'm just gonna, gonna use it. Uh, I think that is the most awesome thing to do. So we have power in here, which is actually really cool that she connected it just like this. But um, I don't think we need power on that little section right over there. Uh, let's have a look. I think we can get away with it to remove it. Well, actually, it's not going to be... It's not going to be enough if we want to provide some electricity here. But we do then need... Yes, that's what I thought. Is there a water area here? Oh, okay, that's from... Is there water? Huh, interesting. Is there a power? No, there is no water pump in this area. So, but it's not in habitat. Okay, so that's why you don't get like a notification or anything. I think we just need to see if we can add a water pump in here. I don't think so, actually. Because, oh, well, wait, what is that? Oh, that's the staff. Oh, yeah, okay, that's the staff room. Um, I think I just need to add one outside. I don't think that's a huge issue in this case. And I'm actually just going to have it in this blueprint. So I'm going to grab utilities and I'm going to grab a water treatment. And I just need to make sure that... Okay, so one, two, three. And then, okay, I'm gonna just let it go here. And I'm gonna connect it like so on the side of the building. And that should be enough at least for this water section right over here. Now bring me in some money because also I am... Uh, <laughs> I am doomed. So I got these all from the Frontier store. Someone told me that if you press C control you should be able to select them all, but unfortunately that's not working. And I was really, I'm really frustrated about this, that it's all one by one. And no matter if I press shift or control or alt, I can't select them all. So I think you might be uh, confused with the sandbox mode, because in sandbox mode, I know that you can just click everything all at the same time without even pressing a button actually. So I, I really don't know why that is. So let me just quickly add all these animals in here. Okay, so all animals will now head to that habitat. And what I want to do before I forget, I want to have two keepers in this case because it's a pretty big habitat. And we're going to create two work rosters. Uh, so we have one with a keeper hut. I think that will be fine actually just to have these three all together so bison and pronghorn it is right or was it yeah pronghorn antelope okay bison and pronghorn and we're gonna name this one two to pronghorn and bison like that and then we're going to have again one big rook roster for everything so we're just gonna add it this one add it work zone and we're gonna press shift and we're gonna add everything in that work zone so now we only need to make sure that those two new keepers that we got have the work roster they need so we're going to go to keepers and we're going to select where are you bison and pronghorn there you go okay so that should work and now it's just a question to see what we need to add in their habitat but we also got some notifications here Bongos are still stressed, guys. Oh my goodness, how are we going to fix this? Unbox all animals. Why did anything happen for them? Animal is stressed, animal is stressed. Is it going to help if we just rotate this one just for now, like a quarter? And just to make sure that they have a little bit more privacy. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm just gonna try it. Like, if they are able to hide somewhere. Like, oh, we, we don't want to move those derpy bungo faces now. Uh, so maybe if they are able to hide a little bit, uh, maybe we could add a little bit more rocks here where they can hide behind. 
I'm not sure, actually. Okay, so let's go to Habitat because we need to make sure that the American Bison has some food. So we're going to give... Oh, and we're going to give a grab ball. We're going to give grab balls and we're going to add... Shall we first add? Yeah, let's first add trees and stuff. So what do you like? You don't... Uh, you are happy with the shelter? Are you happy with your shelter? Yes, you're also happy with the shelter. You're not really happy with the amount of terrain. So we quickly go to fix that. So we, they want less soil. What do they want? More grass? Oh, that's nice. So we can have a little bit more of a greener environment. We need to do a little bit more rocks right over here. Because that should work. Well, maybe not completely, but it's not that bad. It's 91%. I am actually not, not that worried about that. So North America grassland. And you are the same, I am expecting. North America grassland and temperate. Let's see, because I actually want to add a few palm trees at least. So North America grassland. Let's pick grassland first. No tree at all. Hmm. And how much coverage? You, you don't really mind coverage at all. And you don't... You, you have a very low percentage. Huh. That's hard. Why, why are there no trees? Just no trees. Are you kidding me? Okay, and what was the other biome again? So it was grassland and temperate, I think. But those are trees that also don't really fit our desert area. I like some nettle, actually, but... Oh, this is, this is a hard one. Now, actually, we don't really have to do too much, of course, because, well, if they all both don't like too much then we can just get away with just some nettle somewhere and not too much green so let me just fill this a little bit okay so i if i'm right added everything they need i also set up the educational signs we have donation bins like, they don't really need that many plants, so I just added a few of the nettles, actually, and I think it it still looks really nice with, like, this water section. And is the habitat actually too big? Or big enough? Yes, okay, that is fine. And how about you? That is fine, too. Okay, so let's have a look. Last meal quality. We're gonna make sure that we do some research. Also, you guys told me, and I had no idea that was changed, that you don't have to um, make sure that they're not bored or whatever. Like, this is all part of the hard mode now. And I was I was actually still thinking of the time we didn't have easy, medium or hard mode. So I didn't know that was also a difference. I only thought it was refund. So thank you for mentioning that. So I don't have to take care of this all the time. That is really nice. Uh, too few adults and juvenile in animal shows your group. Oh, uh, they need three but there are still animals on their way so that is going to be perfect actually and how about you are you still happy we have two big of these feeders so one on that side and one on this side and uh yeah i think this is actually really cool i think i ruined a little bit here with trying to make a water section so this looks a bit odd actually uh but, but yeah it, it, the idea i need to just uh, fix that but we also need to make sure that this is going to be filled and we're gonna have like and let me just grab these we're gonna have a few of these palm trees i think that looks so nice to have a lot of palm trees everywhere and like uh waterfalls and stuff for the people to uh, to find some uh uh cool areas at least i still don't really know if that really works uh, but I think this is really looking nice and then we have like this water section right over here and then we're going to a different area and I think like looking at this whole overview of the entrance and stuff I think we we already have a way better start than our other franchise series we did after launch so uh, yeah I'm actually really happy already with how this is uh, starting to look all and especially with like these awesome buildings of you guys this is really really incredible uh what time is it now it's 8 20 in the morning uh oh you're gonna play with your grab ball 
<laughs> it's so funny to see such a big guy uh, <laughs> walking with his toy. It's so cute. It's adorable. Oh man, that is so awesome. I like it. Uh, oh yeah, research. Let's make sure we do some research. So we're going to do that research. Shall we maybe pick another? I don't know actually. It's like, are you busy? Are you like really, really busy? You have a very high workload. Okay, let's make sure that we have another vet then. So let's do that. And then we're going to give you the same work roster for everything. So hopefully that is going to reduce your workload just a little bit, Francesca. And um, American Bison is stressed. We also need the signs here then. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh man, couldn't they just have the stress mode also in harm? <laughs> oh my goodness. These are like the things. You should be able to fix it, right? I mean, like, is it always... I can't remember that, like, putting down animals and you're like, Oh, this animal is stressed, I need to build another habitat for it. Or like, give it one-sided glass. I don't know, but... Where are those signs? Security signs. Uh, there you are. Okay, so I'm gonna add one and one on this side too. Let's see if this works if we don't put them into the ground. Uh, so far it is green, but it could be that it uh, found a spot to hide a little bit. So not entirely sure about that. Uh, is it just me or am I not seeing... I see animals boxed. Why are you guys boxed? Maybe I ruined a little bit here of their traversable area. Could that be? That there's... Oh no, no, don't you grass on me. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not completely sure why we didn't have any boxing issues before. Let me just quickly check. So, how about your traversable area? Is there anything weird? It looks fine to me. Then I don't know. No, I am not entirely sure. You are stressed too. All these animals starting to feel stressed. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's going to be really challenging. Yes, give me your money. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad you are happy with our cute little pronghorn with the toy. I know these babies are also so adorable and small. Really, really beautiful. We have two more animals. And they have like a bonus, so they're actually double happy with being together in their habitat. I really like that. That's really awesome. And they look just stunning with like this arch. It's just super awesome. I really, really like this habitat. I think it's super cool with this, this rock formation. Yeah, I like it. Let me know in the comment section if you guys like it as much as I do. <laughs> Maybe I'm the, I'm the only one that likes it. I think we need a few more bins because it's starting to get really messy. So we're gonna go... We're gonna create like the same type of planters like we just filled up these areas So it's it's gonna look very nice and I'm, I'm just gonna do that off camera I'm really happy with all these buildings. It's it's starting to really look It's starting to look really nice. Yes, I'm honestly very very happy about this Do they really need two keepers? Yeah, I think so one to clean it one to feed I think that is the best way to go for, and they don't have to walk super far. I think this is, uh, yeah, this is really cool. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of our new habitat and all these amazing additions. I, I really want to thank you guys so much for your help. And as always, if you want to help out too, definitely join my Discord server. There's a list, there's an inspiration list to see what kind of style we're going for. So it's not like just build a desert building no it's it's we're gonna try and to stay in the same style for regions so definitely check that out too 
And you're just welcoming my Discord server for chit chats and fun, of course. Ah, oh, that's so adorable. Uh, so definitely also just join if you want to uh, chat with our lovely community. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel a little extra, you may want to consider to become a FayFem member with the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!